I'm going to live, or at least try to live, the way I want, with dignity, with courage, with humor, with composure. My name is Jamie Lipskin, and I am the owner of Institute of Dance Artistry and produce the annual Generations Dance Concert. This year's concert is raising money for Cystic Fibrosis Foundation and Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America. This is the 10 year anniversary of the Generations Dance Concert, and it is so much more than just a dance performance. It is about teaching our students to use their passion for dance to give back to a greater cause. Please take a moment to read more information about this year's concerts and our beneficiaries, as well as consider donating to our Kickstarter project to help us raise funds. When I was diagnosed, the average life expectancy of a child born with cystic fibrosis did not go beyond the teenage years. The best years of my life were supposed to be taken from me, but my family and friends had no intention of allowing their baby boy to become just another statistic. There was too much to see, too much to do, too many experiences I had to, well, experience. How does one do this? Honestly, do what the doctors tell you and appreciate life. With the money that continues to be raised for research and doing what is expected, I anticipate living a normal life. And with your donations and more research, we can take the quotations off the word normal. The research works. I'm still here, breathing in and breathing out living, loving, and enjoying life. Having Crohn's disease has changed my life in many ways for the worse. From the age of 10, I have lived through constant pain, unknowing what each day will bring. Emergency room visits, lengthy hospital stays, multiple surgeries, endless specialist visits, all too common in my life. I've also gone through a period of remission where I was able to have my two perfect boys, a period of pain-free, symptom-free life that was all too short, but that I hope to gain once again. Anyone that has a chronic disease will probably agree that you also gain gifts. Through the suffering comes a sense of what is important in life, and to truly not sweat the small stuff. Dance has been a part of my life since I was three, so actually longer than Crohn's. I have enjoyed it from all aspects, from dancing myself to continuing to watch my amazing sisters turn it into careers, to see how IDA is using it to help me. Others with Crohn's and colitis and also cystic fibrosis is amazing. What a gift you are giving us and giving each dancer by giving them the opportunity to turn dance into a charitable event. Crohn's is one of the silent diseases that isn't too often discussed. The person next to you could be suffering right now and you may not know. I too have tried to be silent for many years never wanting to be judged on what my limitations may be, but only by my assets. It is time to speak up now, though for funding and research are vitally important to not only improve my life, but the lives of countless others. Selfishly, I want a better quality of life for myself, so I can always be there for my boys and husband. For me and many others, we have tried all the drugs out there and are simply waiting, waiting for the next drug to get made and hopefully change my life.